song and prayer highlighted the Turn the Hearts California rally at Southwest Bakersfield Church. Events during the week will include prayer, vigils, and protests abortion outside clinic. abortion clinics. In hopes of getting their pro, their pro life Gathered message at the out. First Assembly of God tonight. They discuss plans for a week of anti-abortion activities. Thousands plan to pray in front of clinics which perform People have abortions. Up to take different shifts. Uh, uh, we'll be there throughout the day as long as the clinic is open. We'll be outside, uh, not protesting, not confronting anybody, but simply praying throughout the hours that the thing is in operation. A clinic in uh, Santa Cruz and a clinic in Inglewood also closed down for the day and didn't even do any abortions today. We were very excited about that. The Bakersfield group plans to pray in front of Bakersfield Soul Clinic, which performs about abortions. About 100 people braved the coal to march from the Planned Parenthood office to the Family Planning Associates. Carrying signs and praying all the way, marchers say each of the cardboard tombstones they carried memorialized one of 100 women they say died while having an abortion. The marchers included members of many different faiths, a sign, the marchers say, that points to a united front, not only against abortion, but in favor of political candidates who side with them. I believe truly that all the Christians, especially here in the United States, are going to support, faithfully support, candidates that are for um, pro-life. Because we prayerfully pray as before we go to vote, and it's a community type of uh, encouragement, and that's what's going through the churches now. It was 19 years ago that the U.S. Supreme Court handed down the landmark Roe v. Wade decision that opened the door to abortion on demand. According to today's protesters, that decision sent out a message that abortion is a private matter that only concerns one person, the mother. Today, they say the court is realizing right that there now. are we two people involved, and they want a voice for the other person, the unborn fetus. People here say this may be the most important year on the abortion issue since 1973. One marcher that I spoke to said California is fast moving away from being known as an abortion state. On Stockdale Highway, Tony Lee, News 29. Those marchers predict that by June, the U.S. Supreme Court will reverse the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision and turn against abortion on demand. Although News 29 tried to locate someone from the opposing side, those in favor of pro-choice were These unavailable. These people were protesting the recent gag ruling by the Supreme Court. This rule would forbid federally funded family planning clinics from mentioning abortion as an option. I'm here with my mother and my grandmother on my mother's side, so it was three generations. We came out because we feel that it's important to make a statement to our congressmen about our beliefs uh, regarding reproductive freedom. One of the, the most tragic things, it's one cl step closer to overturning Roe v. Wade, which is, which is very important because that gives women all their reproductive rights. And, and if that happens, then we lose them all and we've lost decades of hard work. Pro-choice advocates gathered at the offices of Planned Parenthood to hold a discussion and rally for what they say is a disregard for women's rights. It's very important to go to every part of the state with a universal message, which is that abortion should be safe and legal for women and that it is not government's business to restrict or cripple that freedom. Just across the street, a group of protesters with a different view circled to let their voices be heard. I'm here because to help dispel some of the myth about the gag order, the true people that are gagged are the unborn who have no voice, and we're out here trying to trying to be a voice for those. Well, basically, uh, what we wanted to do was uh, we had heard about their rally, and we wanted to come out and just maintain a, a prayer vigil, which we did, and to represent the truth and light in this situation, and that is that abortion kills children, and we're against spending our money for promoting the killing of children, and that's what Planned Parenthood does. Immediately following the rally at Planned Parenthood, volunteers went on a neighborhood outreach drive, hoping to spread the word about what they say is a matter of life and death. That's the one thing both groups seem to agree on. Reporting in Bakersfield, Kelly Ryan, 17 News. Hmm. Now, uh, both sides said they will continue to make their voices heard to the community and to the representatives. 